What are the habits of highly creative people? Let's find out! So I'm going to share with you five habits of creative and innovative people. What do they do consistently? What do they do habitually? Yeah, and before I do that though, if you haven't done it yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button. We got lots and lots of great videos coming up in the areas of productivity, creativity, presentation skills. You don't want to miss out, okay? So if you're watching this video, you're probably a creative person of some sort your work is related to creativity and innovation, or that's where you want to move to. Yeah, either way, you can use these five habits very, very well. And it could be that you want to write a book or that you are a writer. It could be that you create products, you innovate new products. It could be that you write movies or you act in movies. Yeah, it doesn't matter. These are five very general habits that most creative and innovative people have in common. Habit number one, they try new things. They consistently try new things. Most creative and innovative people that I've been working with over the years and that I studied and researched as well for my book, Edge Innovation, um, I've come to the conclusion that they consistently try something new. They consistently try something different. For example, if they go to a restaurant, they don't just always order the same thing on the menu. They try something that they've never tried before. They try to go to new places. They try meeting different type of people. Yeah, in your case as well, ask yourself, what are some new things that you could try? What are some new things that you could try and do this week? Number two, they play the combination game. Now, what do I mean by the combination game? Creative people have a habit of combining things that for other people look kind of weird. Like let's say, you know, this bottle of water and I have some lotion, some hand lotion here. <laughs> How can we combine these two to create a new product? How could we combine this water and this car? What could we do to create a new product or a new idea? So they look into different areas and different industries and they, they look at how can we combine things. And that's usually how great innovations, how great creativity exists. It doesn't come from you consistently going the same path of your industry. It just doesn't work. Yeah, you have to think outside the box. You have to look at which strange things could I combine to create something new. Habit number three, they don't sit at their desk all day long. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, if you sit at your desk all day long, how creative, how innovative can you really be? Creative people, from my experience, we move a lot around, yeah, we travel a lot, we go for a walk, we get creative ideas outside the office, away from our desk, away from our laptops. If all that you're sitting behind all day long is your laptop, how creative can you really become? You will not find the solutions to your creative problems staring at the same screen, sitting in the same place all day long. You gotta go out, you gotta move, you gotta experience different stimulus from your environment. And that's how you too can become more creative. Number four, creative people know their creativity stimulus. Now, what do I mean by that? Everybody gets creative in different environments in different situations, meeting different people. Yeah, so you really have to think about when were you most creative? Where were you the most creative? Who were you with when you were really, really, really creative? I guarantee you for most people, it's a pattern. So in my case, I, when I need new creative ideas, I move around, I go out, I go to different coffee shops. Yeah, I meet different people. I meet a different business partner that I know always inspires a little bit more creativity for me. You gotta figure that out for yourself as well. A friend of mine, when he wants to get his creative juices flowing, very interesting, he told me he cleans up his office. <laughs> no joke. He goes through all his office stuff and he cleans up all the clutter he has and he asks himself, 
what are some what are some things that I don't need anymore and he throws them away and strangely enough he gets new he gets creative ideas that he didn't have before so figure out what is your creative stimulus what are your creative stimuli what can you consistently use what environment can you go to to create consistently creative ideas and habit number five creative people do weird things they have weird habits as an example edison he was napping all day long he napped all day yeah he slept at night i think a little less but all day he would like very very long power nap einstein was very famous he never wore any socks steve jobs oh my god too many to mention google it check it out you got to check it out yourself but a weird thing that you do is nothing against your creativity it might really really support your creativity so that strange thing that you do that you think you sometimes have to change it could actually stimulate and encourage your creativity more so comment below one time which of these five habits are you going to use from now on also again if you haven't subscribed make sure you subscribe hit the like button if you liked it and most importantly i really look forward to seeing you for the next video.